were with SPU cross country coach Erica Dalicon this summer. Coach, about a month or so before practice starts, and what are you thinking about now as we get get closer and closer to the start of a new season? Well, this is a time I get really excited and really antsy to see my athletes and uh, just to communicate and check in with them and uh, see what we have uh, in store for us. But they're working hard on their fitness and. I sent them off with a plan at the beginning of summer, and they've been following it, and we're excited to see what is in store. And how much do you communicate with your athletes during the summer? Is there a certain time where you just give them some space, they give you some space, or are you, are you constantly in touch with them? Well, um, the NCAA actually prevents me from requiring them to check in with me okay. uh, during the summer until the official start of practice, but I encourage them to communicate with me and just let me know how things are going for them. And um, some of them will drop by the office, which I really appreciate, too. So you know, as much communication as possible within the legal boundaries. Okay. Unlike a lot of sports, you get to see your athletes in full competition during the spring, during the track season. What sign, What uh, types of things did you see from some of your distance runners last spring that you know, are you going into the fall here? Well, um, I saw a few of them that had struggled with injury the year before really come through strong in the spring, and I'm excited to see what uh, is in store for them this fall. Uh, Robin Ziedler, Michaela Fricker on the women's side were two that um, I think are really going to have successful uh, fall seasons. Um, on the men's side, we have a few right now that are actually struggling with a bit of injury, but they are on the comeback plan, and I think that they're going to be um, back and really looking strong too. Um, Alex Horton, Turner Wiley just had to have um, a little bit of knee surgery, but he's back to running again, too, so Good. we're excited to see. And um, Seth Pearson had a very successful um, year, and he's feeling uh, stronger than ever as far as cross-country fitness goes, so um, I'm really looking forward to see what, seeing what he can do this fall. Your Falcon running camp is coming up here next week. That's one of the longest uh, tenured camps, uh, I think, anywhere in, in the state. Talk about that. What can runners expect, and is there still a chance for them to sign up yet? We are actually full right now, but we will um, take a waiting list. Um, we have about 150 campers. It is the oldest distance running camp for uh, high schoolers in the United States. We have a very uh, long and special tradition. Uh, this camp was started by Dr. Foreman and Doris Heritage, and we try to continue the camp in their um, footsteps. And uh, we have a number of great speakers that are coming in, um, sports psychologists, uh, scientists, uh, physical therapists. So we, we d I do try to have a, an array of presenters there to really give our athletes uh, some tools to take away with them and to apply to their uh, fall seasons and beyond. And of course the running is spectacular at, uh, on Whidbey Island up at Fort Casey and that's always the highlight is challenging the bluff and um, just having great fun with their friends too. All right.